Ever wondered how bell peppers make it from the farm to your kitchen? It's a journey that begins with a single seed and ends with a vibrant, crunchy pepper that adds flavor and color to your meals. Let's take a moment to appreciate the process that makes this possible. It all starts with careful farming, where seeds are nurtured into robust plants that bear these beautiful fruits. Yes, you heard it right. Bell peppers are technically fruits, not vegetables. These are then harvested at the peak of their ripeness, ensuring that they're as delicious as they can be. But the journey doesn't end there. These peppers then make their way to markets, where they wait to be picked up by discerning shoppers like you. And why wouldn't you? Bell peppers are not just tasty. They are packed with vitamins and antioxidants, making them a great addition to any diet. So buckle up as we take you through the fascinating journey of bell pepper farming. The journey of a bell pepper begins with a well-prepared land. Indeed, the success of growing bell peppers, or any plant for that matter, largely hinges on the condition of the soil. It's like the foundation of a house. Get it right, and everything else falls into place. Now, bell peppers are not too picky, but they do have a few preferences when it comes to their growing conditions. The soil, for starters, needs to be well-drained. Soggy roots can lead to diseases and ultimately, a poor harvest. So if you're dealing with heavy clay soil, you might want to consider adding some sand or organic matter to improve its structure and drainage. Next up, fertility. Bell peppers are heavy feeders. They need lots of nutrients to produce those juicy, vibrant fruits we all love. This is where compost or well-rotted manure comes into play. These organic materials not only provide a slow-release source of nutrients, but also help improve the soil structure, making it easier for the roots to penetrate and access water and nutrients. And let's not forget about the pH level. Bell peppers prefer a slightly acidic to neutral pH, somewhere between 6 and 7. A soil pH outside this range can lock out essential nutrients, stunting the plant's growth and reducing your harvest. So if your soil pH is off, you might need to add some lime or sulfur to bring it back into the ideal range. Now, how do farmers prepare the land? Well, it generally involves plowing the soil to break up any hard pan and improve its structure. Then, they add the compost or manure, mixing it thoroughly with the top layer of the soil. They also take this opportunity to test the soil pH and make any necessary adjustments. In a nutshell, preparing the land is all about creating the best possible environment for the bell pepper plants to thrive. It's about setting the stage for a successful growing season and, ultimately, a bountiful harvest. Once the land is ready, it's time to sow the bell pepper seeds. After preparing the land, the next step is sowing the bell pepper seeds. Sowing is an art in itself, a delicate balance of depth, spacing, and timing that can make all the difference in your harvest. When it comes to bell peppers, the seeds should be sown at a depth of about a quarter of an inch into the soil. This depth allows the seeds to access the moisture they need to germinate, while also protecting them from the elements. Spacing is another crucial factor. Each seed should be sown about 18 to 24 inches apart, this gives the plants room to grow and ensures they won't be fighting each other for nutrients in the soil. Now let's talk about timing. Bell peppers are warm season crops, meaning they prefer temperatures between 65 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The ideal time to sow the seeds is when the soil warms up to at least 60 degrees. This usually happens in late spring or early summer, depending on your location. Once the seeds are in the ground, they need a little patience and a lot of care. Regular watering is essential, but be careful not to overwater. Too much moisture can lead to problems like damping off, a fungal disease that can kill seedlings. And what about transplanting? Well, once the seedlings have grown to about two to three inches tall, they're ready to be moved to their permanent homes in the garden. This process, known as transplanting, allows the plants to establish strong root systems and prepare for the growth spurt that will soon follow. So, there you have it. The art of sowing and planting bell pepper seeds it's a process that requires care, patience, and a bit of knowledge, but the reward is well worth the effort. With the seeds planted and well taken care of, it's time to wait for the bell peppers to grow. Growing bell peppers require patience and regular maintenance. Once the seeds have been sowed and the young plants have taken root, that's when the real work begins. You see, bell peppers aren't just any garden variety plant, they're a labor of love, a testament to your commitment as a gardener. In the world of bell peppers, regular watering is key. They need a consistent supply of water to help them grow, but not too much as to drown them. A well-drained soil is essential to their growth. 
The soil should be kept moist, but not waterlogged. Overwatering can lead to root rot, which is detrimental to the plant's health. Weeding is another important aspect of growing bell peppers. Weeds compete with the plants for valuable nutrients and water, slowing down their growth. Regular weeding ensures that your bell peppers get all the nutrients they need to grow healthy and strong. But plants, like all living things, can fall prey to pests. Pest control is crucial in maintaining the health of your bell peppers. From aphids to caterpillars, pests can wreak havoc on your plants. Regular inspections and proactive measures can help keep these pests at bay. As they grow, bell peppers undergo a beautiful transformation. They start as small, green fruits, gradually growing in size. The shape of the bell pepper forms as it grows, rounding out into the bell shape we're all familiar with. And then comes the magical part, the change in color. As they mature, bell peppers transition from green to their final color, red, yellow, orange, or even purple. This color change is a sign of their ripeness, a signal that they're ready to be picked. When the bell peppers reach their full size and vibrant color, it's time to harvest them. But that, dear listeners, is a story for another time. The most exciting part of bell pepper farming is the harvesting and selling. After weeks of diligent care, our bell peppers are finally ready to be picked. But it's not just about plucking them off the plant, there's a bit of an art to it. The perfect time to harvest bell peppers is when they're fully grown and their color is vibrant. This could be green, red, yellow, or orange, depending on the variety. But remember, the longer the peppers stay on the plant, the sweeter they become. So if you prefer a more robust flavor, you might want to wait a bit longer. Now let's talk about the right way to harvest. The goal here is to avoid damaging the plant or the fruit. So don't just pull the peppers off. Instead, use a sharp pair of garden shears or a knife to cut the stem, leaving a small part of it attached to the fruit. This not only prevents damage, but also helps the peppers stay fresh longer. Once we've harvested our beautiful bell peppers, it's time to prepare them for the market. Packing is an important step in this process. We start by carefully sorting the peppers by size and color. This makes it easier for buyers to choose what they need. Then we pack the peppers in ventilated boxes, making sure they're not too crowded. We want to avoid any bruising or damage during transportation. Speaking of transportation, getting our bell peppers to the market is another crucial part of the journey. We choose a reliable transport service that understands the importance of handling fresh produce with care. Upon reaching the market, our bell peppers are ready to be displayed and sold, bringing their journey from the farm to the market full circle. Don't underestimate the satisfaction of seeing your freshly harvested bell peppers being picked up by happy customers. It's a fulfilling end to the hard work you've put into your garden. And that's how bell peppers make their journey from the farm to the market. So, that's the fascinating journey of bell pepper farming. We've delved into each crucial step, starting with the diligent preparation of the land, a process that involves careful planning and hard work to ensure the soil is rich and ready for planting. We then moved on to the sowing and planting phase, where the seeds are meticulously sown and nurtured to sprout into healthy seedlings. As we progressed, we explored the growing and maintenance stage emphasizing the significance of regular watering and pruning to ensure the bell peppers grow to their full potential. Finally, we looked at the harvesting and selling process, where the ripe bell peppers are carefully picked and prepared for market sale. Each step is a testament to the dedication and perseverance of the farmers who work tirelessly to provide us with these vibrant, nutritious bell peppers. Next time you enjoy a bell pepper, remember the hard work and dedication that went into growing it. Thank you for joining us on this journey.